it on the front of the computer screen and going at it, but like, how do you, I guess, harness what's out there and kind of flow it through the channels that you create? Like, if you go out looking for it, or is it a process that you go through day to day that you have a schedule or routine you go through? Or? How you harness creativity and, and filter it into your individuality, into your own voice? Do you mean creatively or really technically? Like, how many hours a day do you work? Yeah. Like, do you set aside time to work? Uh, I do. I, the, a couple, you all have, like, job, like, you go into an actual office, mm -hmm. right? Um, I, I don't do that. So, uh, I, but I have to create a routine as if I do. So, I, and everybody has something different, but uh, usually what I do is I set aside, I, I, I write for about six or seven hours a day with breaks in between. And um, I start off my day by reading something because it usually get, it sort of settles me and I'm a writer and so I get inspired by what I'm reading sometimes. Uh, and then I write pretty much for the rest of the, the day. So it is, it is a created discipline, if that's what you're asking. You do actually, or I have to impose that discipline. And by the way, half of the time that I'm writing, I'm probably just staring out a window. It's, so I'm, I'm writing in my brain, but not necessarily like that. I spend a lot of time uh, you know, reading papers, reading the trades, uh, looking on the internet, just see what's going on, and talking to people in the business people that I know, friends of mine who are directors, producers, writers, uh, get an idea of what's going on. Best thing is reading the newspaper because it's full of so much junk. And there's so many things that are so upsetting. I think I've got to do something about this. You never do, of course. But with that starts you thinking about something that's important, which has nothing to do with anything else. And uh, it's pretty much just keeping yourself informed of what's going on around you. It's, it's very easy to get uh, you know, trapped in a little narrow alleyway of what you think is good or whatever, and, not, and to kind of miss what's going on around you. I think we all need discipline. It, it, you have to have a, a habit of writing. Whether you sit down and you don't write anything that day, but you sit down every day. When I'm playing bass, if you're gonna write songs, you gotta sit down and write songs. You can't just sit down and do this or that or fiddle around, you gotta say, I'm, this is my goal, I'm going to write a script, and you give yourself a certain amount of time to do it, and you just do it. If, and I think that's important too, give yourself a certain amount of time to do it, because otherwise it never gets done. You gotta give yourself some sort of, at least a framework, but it's all habits, is it, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, Well, I mean, one of the great things about being on staff on a TV show is you're gonna do 20 episodes, or 22 episodes, they're not gonna air color bars, that's your job, you gotta come up with something to write about. and for a show like West Wing or Law and Order SVU or even The Beast, my approach was usually um, to merge some kind of personal issue I'm having with a story that I've just read in the paper. I did that on SVU. There was a, uh, an episode about um, women in prison and the problem of, uh, you know, more than half the guards in prison are male. And that seems crazy to me that you're putting prostitutes and drug addict uh, women who who have been uh, something like 80 percent of them are are psychologically or physically abused most of their lives in prison with male guards like i i can't think of a worse power dynamic ever um so that was a good idea for a story i thought um so that's that's just sort of where it comes from but then you got to come up with who the characters are and figure out how to tell that story in an hour